we are going to do an example using specific keys. So let's read the example. Um, it says that we have um, ethanol or ethylene glycol, 59.8 joules is required to raise that temperature, just one Kelvin, and we have 25 grams as the ethylene glycol. This is something that we use in antifreeze, by the way. Um, now, this, I want you, this is what I want you to pull out of this uh, particular question. We are heating or cooling one substance, okay? Uh, so really, this is the point of this example, is if you have just one substance and you're either warming it up or you're cooling it down, this is where you live. It's going to be with our specific heat formula. Q equals Cm delta T. So my pattern in doing problems, we are going to first label everything, second, identify the formula, actually did that. Um, third, uh, if it's appropriate, solve for the unknown, and then fourth, plug and chug. Uh, so let's go ahead and label everything. So they gave us the heat. Whenever you see joules or kilojoules, that's going to be your Q. So we have 59.8 joules. Um, it wants to know what is a specific heat. That's my unknown. Uh, mass of the ethylene glycol is 25 grams. And then change of temperature. So change of temperature, we're going to have, remember, final minus initial. Um, so let me put this as a reminder. T final minus T initial. Well, they already gave us the change. They said that it changes one Kelvin. So they actually gave us straight up delta T. We didn't even have to do, we didn't even have to do the final minus C initial. Um, if they had said um, that it increases from 298K to 299K, you would just do the 299 minus the 298. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in. So I see my formula and we're going to solve for the C. Um, if we divide both sides by the M delta T, oops, excuse me, M delta T, we'll get that the specific heat equals Q divided by M delta T. Now look at units, watch the units because they'll always tell you if you've done the equation correctly. So we have 59.8 joules divided by the mass, 25 grams, times the change in temperature was one Kelvin. Oh, just look at the units, this is great. We are going to end up with joules divided by gram times Kelvin, and that is a unit for specific heat. Um, so it means that we, we did it right. So our specific heat is going to equal, oh, and we'd have to divide this, um, it's going to be, what, 2.24, something like that. I'm doing it really fast. Um, check it in your calculator. I'm just doing that in my head. Um, so we divide that, and again, the unit, joule divided by gram times Kelvin. So what does that mean? That means ethylene glycol. It requires 2.24 joules to raise one gram of ethylene glycol, one Kelvin. We could also say one degree C because um, they change at the same magnitude. Okay, if you are cooling or warming a substance, here's where you go, Q equals CM delta T. Um, I do want to point out to raise the temperature that means the ethylene glycol is increasing temperature. So I'm thinking if I'm ethylene glycol, to increase my temperature, I have to absorb energy. That would be, um, just as a side note, positive. I didn't write it down explicitly, but I want to show you um, that this is absorbing energy because the temperature is increasing. You're thinking the system is absorbing energy. Is this is an endothermic, endothermic reaction. The ethylene glycol is warming up, absorbing energy. Okay, good work.